If you could only pick one keyword tool to use, which keyword tool would that be? Hi, I'm Roy Ryer from SEOTrainingSW.com and I'm a member of the Search Engine Academy. This is one of the most common questions I'm asked from new students involved in SEO training. And actually to answer that question is very difficult because to be very effective at SEO, there's a number of keyword tools that you must use to be a master of your trade. But a lot of these tools that I use are free and you don't gotta go out and spend a whole lot of money. And what we're gonna be doing in this little short little video is kind of show you some tricks and some tips that I use with some of the free tools. First thing I would recommend if you're doing any type of searching using Google Suggest or Google Keyword Tool or anything to that effect, that you want to disable personalization. Basically what personalization does is Google recognizes, remembers your search history and gives you search results basically based upon your search history. So to really use Google Suggest to its full potential and to get search results that are not filtered based on your search, you're going to want to disable this personalization. Now Yoast has a really cool tool. I'll just go right down here, bring this down here, and you can see the URL right here. It's yoast.com slash tools slash SEO slash disable dash personalize dash search dash plugin. This is a, a free little plugin that you can use for Firefox. And you just click on this little link right here. And this is going to add this into your browser, your Firefox browser. And basically what this does, you're going to see right here in the uh, drop down box where you can choose what search engines that you want to choose. You could use Google.com unpersonalized. And basically what this does, we'll just do a little short search here in Google. Let's search for, uh, we'll just type in shoes. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to give results that are not personalized. But there's another thing you need to do or I really strongly suggest you do. As you can see that I'm logged in here into my Google account. And what I suggest that you also do is to go into that little gear here and go to web history. And you're going to want to disable your result. We're going to go to the next page and we right here you're going to see right I have my web history disabled and my search history is empty. So Google is not collecting my web history. Now this is something I would also suggest that you change so you can get unfiltered results for when you're searching for Google. Now let me show you some really kind of cool things using uh, now that we have our web history turned off and that we're using these, uh, these, this filter basically. Now I'm going to be searching Google again. You can see that we have that by using the uh, plugin from Yoast that we're adding this little parameter right here, the PWS equals zero. Now you could add this manually, but it makes it a lot easier. Now many of you might know that one of my other uh, websites is radardetector.org. And last December, we started a new website. And we're doing very well for the keyword term radar detectors. And so we just typed in radar detectors. This would be the root keyword phrase. And you can see right down here, we're, I think right, right now we're about number two for this phrase. And by typing in what using Google suggests, you could see some other keyword phrases that are coming here. Google review, or radar detector reviews, radar detectors illegal, and radar detectors Best Buy. But I like to take this a little step further and just follow what I'm doing here. We typed in the word radar detectors. This will be our main root keyword phrase that we want to optimize for. Now let's just add an A to that right there. And we can see that we're having a list again. And this is Google Suggest. This is based on the search history of other users. And we can see radar detectors at Best Buy, radar detectors in Jammers, radar detectors at Walmart. So what I'll typically do is I'll have a spreadsheet open and I'll cut and paste and put these into a spreadsheet. So we'll start off with A, and then we'll type in B, and we can see, again, radar detectors, best buy, brands, best value. And I'm just trying to, do, what I'm basically doing here is brainstorming. And this is very important in doing your keyword research. And really great that we have Google Suggest, because this is basically based upon the history of other people that searched 
Google for these particular keywords. So we just go right through the alphabet, D, E, F, and all the way through. And let me show you some other kind of cool tools that uh, I like to use. Now I like to use the, also the shopping tab here. On your left hand side you'll see a link that says shopping. And even though I don't, on my current website, RadarDetector.org, it's strictly a review site. We don't sell radar detectors. But I like to know what some of these brands are that are popular, uh, the actual models. So again, if I just type in the keyword phrase uh, radar detector or radar detectors into Google Shopping, we could see that these are some of the most popular radar detectors. And some of these radar detectors you might not be familiar with. You also can do shopping by brand. But we're going to just basically, you know, repeat this whole thing. We, we see Google Suggest has given us other keyword phrases, such as radar detectors for sale, radar detectors California. Now we could add an A to it and see if anything comes up with A. Nothing's showing up right now, so let's back that up and let's try a B, see if anything comes up in B. We're not seeing anything coming up with B. We'll try C. Okay, Radar Detectors California has been used in Google Shopping. And we just go right through the alphabet again. And again, what we'll be doing is going to be putting these particular keywords into a spreadsheet and just do some more brainstorming. Here's some other really cool tools that you could use. This is really Google Suggest on steroids is what the website says. And this is really a neat little shortcut you could use. And then the uh, domain name right here is ubersuggest.org. Uh, they like to you know ask you to donate if you would, but it's a free tool again. And this really saves you some time. This, you know, I read, just type in radar detector, Let's try, we'll type in the singular version of radar detector. And what this is going to do is it's going to go through all the Google Suggest keyword phrases. So we don't have to do it manually. So you can see radar detector, radar detector reviews. And real simple, you just highlight these, copy them, and drop them right into a spreadsheet. And you build up a list. And they're all alphabeticalized. So you can see here it's not doing our B's for us are doing our C's for us and our D's. So this is a little shortcut, if you may. Now, here's another really cool tool that allows you to search Wikipedia, uh, YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, all at the same time, basically doing the same thing with Google Suggest. So let's type in the word. Let's try a different phrase this time. Let's try laser jammers. And you can see right here, we see... Uh, in Wikipedia, Laser Jammer, well, it just went away. In YouTube, we got Laser Collection. That's not a really good keyword phrase. In, but over here in Bing, we can see Laser Jammers. Laser Jammers Illegal. Laser Jammers for Motorcycles. And again, what I'm going to be doing is just dropping these into a spreadsheet. And we'll be building up on our keyword list uh, as we go on. I hope this, you know, little... Uh, tip helps you out. Google Suggest is a free tool, so you don't got to go out and spend a whole lot of money. I would take this a step further, though. Again, what we're doing here is doing some brainstorming. I would then take this spreadsheet and then put those into the Google Keyword Tool to see what type of search volume there is. Use Word Tracker, use SpyFu, and build this up. But typically, what I'm doing here is I'm starting off with just some free keyword tools, and hopefully, this is going to make your job a lot easier. If you do enjoy this video, please consider sharing it with a friend. Also, if you're viewing this on our website, seotrainingsw.com, uh, we do have a like button up on the top. You know, please you know, like this and share this with your friends. Just have a great day. This is Roy Ryer from seotrainingsw.com and the Search Engine Academy. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.